Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how I'm going to add uh, a red lip gloss or red lipstick to this picture. So here's the effect that we're going to add off then on just to demonstrate the end result. So I'm just going to go up to my history, go back to the original photo and start from the beginning. First thing, I'm just going to add a new layer and then I'm going to zoom in on the lips and select the pen tool uh, from the tools panel over here. And then start moving along the lips and it is a little bit better to be larger than the lips and I will show you why in a second. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Usually the more time you spend, the better it is. But for this demonstrative purpose, I'll just be a little quicker than I normally would be. And then when we want to close up, make sure that our icon does have that circle showing that we are closing up the pen loop. From here, we're going to just click Selection. For Feather Radius, just leave it to zero. Um, I'm not going to go over that in this tutorial. Now we have our selection. Go to the Fill bucket. You do want the color to be slightly darker than what you want the lips to actually be and this is because there's going to be some fading involved. So fill that in. Um, we've got a little mark right here. All filled in with that dark red. We can deselect that now and then come over to our layer layers panel and then for blending modes we're going to switch to overlay. And then right now you can already see how we're creating that lip gloss or lipstick effect. But you do notice that it is a bit rigid. Um, it doesn't really blend in with the lips too well right now. So in order to do that, we'll just select our eraser. Ensure that our hardness is turned down all the way. And then we'll just go along and just clean it up. Zooming back out, you can see that that looks better already. So original with the layer added and the overlay blending effect. The one last thing we can do in order to make it blend a little better is, bl is play with the opacity. So it will vary on every photo, um, but I think right around 60 really works for this photo. Again, the original and the complete. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, you can check out my other tutorial on how we can actually remove this necklace off the photo um, as well as keeping that same skin tone there.